figured I'd take a walk downtown and share with you guys some of my thoughts on what's going on with Julian Assange and WikiLeaks. So I was teaching my journalism class today and we were talking about the election and the results and I wanted to share with them that uh, the Pied Piper email from 2015 that was released by WikiLeaks showing how Hillary Clinton and the DNC actually wanted to prop up um, certain Republican candidates, Trump being one of them, to prove, uh, well, not to prove, but to show how easy he would be to beat. They thought he would be easy to beat. That's the main takeaway, right? Well, he won. <laughs> so that email was in the Podesta email leak. And uh, I found uh, a heavy.com. It was like a compilation of all of um, the heaviest hitting emails from that Podesta leak. I click on the link to the actual email and it's like a 504 bad gateway error. So I go back through some of the other big emails that I would look up, like the Donna Brazil email, her sneaking questions to Hillary Clinton. It's gone, it's not there anymore. And I tried a couple other ones, not there anymore. Now, maybe this is old news and I'm just now catching up on it, but uh, I figured it was worth talking about because, you know, <laughs> we're literally living in 1984 now. This was Winston Smith's job in 1984. He said in the Ministry of Truth, and he would uh, rewrite the history books. Uh, and Orwell's famous quote, which Julian Assange loved to quote, was, he who controls the present controls the past. And he who controls the past controls the future. So they've put Assange in prison. They've cut him off from the internet. I'm, it's pretty impressive what he was able to do. I mean, he, uh, he kept this site going with just his programming and planning for five years without him being around. It's pretty impressive. But I remember distinctly him talking about how like the true value of a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin would be not that you could move money around with it, but that it could be used to attach news articles to that couldn't be destroyed like that. I believe IPFS is trying to do that, but it just hasn't caught on in any way to where you could really influence mass consciousness. So, um, yeah, it's just weird to, to literally live through what he was talking about. Um, it's also interesting to note that his last recorded video interview was him talking about how Google and other major corporations, hey, thank you, Google, here on YouTube, uh, would program AI to write the news and try to guide the population in the way that they wanted, and no one would ever know about it. Uh, that's what they're sucking up all your data for. That's why they will figure out the captions to this video right after I upload it. It's not, uh, <laughs> it's nice to have, I guess, but uh, it's data capitalism. They're scooping it up and funneling it into the machine. Now that could be scary, but at the end of the day, we just gotta use their own tools to fight evil. That's what Assange did. Assange didn't develop the internet, DARPA did. DARPA developed it. And uh, it clicked with me with all this that just having the technology is not enough. 
it is required for good men and women, for good people to be behind the technology doing courageous things with it. It's ultimately a spiritual war, you know? You can't just build the tools. Assange built an incredible tool with WikiLeaks. But even he, once it's shut off, once they put him in prison for five years, they can get to it. They can figure out what he did and shut it down. So it's very important that behind Assange, there's a million more like him. And uh, he was a rare breed, but uh, we gotta do our best. We gotta try. And um, we gotta get that guy out. And if we can't get him out, if they do turn him into a martyr, we gotta make his death worth it, you know? It can't be for nothing. We can't just forget. It reminds me of that Eugene Debs speech. As long as one man is in prison, I am not free. And I've said that before, and I'll say it again. As long as Julian Assange, the greatest truth teller, greatest journalist of our generation, is in prison, I am not free. I cannot enjoy my life knowing that that's going on and nothing's being done about it. Nothing's being done about it. I mean, the people doing this, how many of them are there? You know, I feel Orwell kind of nailed it in 1984. Upper party members, how many? 10,000? How many henchmen do they have working for them? How many people, you know, <laughs> is it the Democratic voters of the professional managerial class? How many are real tried and true believers? Half a million? How many people are in this country? 300 million? This is not an impossible situation. It's not something that should just be given up on. It's something that can be fixed. And I think we should fix it. How should we fix it? Well, spiritually, I don't think we can be afraid of these people. We got to, uh, we got to be willing to make videos like this. We got to be willing to join organizations of other like-minded people that want to do something about this as well. Uh, we got to be willing to read and learn and not be sucked up into the instantaneous brain smoothing nature of the corporate internet. I also think we have to not give in to hate and rage, you know? We have to love one another because, and forgive one another. The people we're up against will dig up everything they can find on anybody who's gonna stand up against their evil. You can't be suckered into that, okay? You gotta forgive people, you gotta love people because love is the energy, ultimately, you know? I don't think we should let them run wild, do whatever they need to do, you know? I think in a way, a prison cell might be a way to love these people because just letting them keep doing this is not love. But behind the revolution, Jesus Christ was a revolutionary. Behind the revolution, has to be a spirit of love and a spirit of seeking the truth. The ancient philosophers understood this. Julian Assange understood this. He risked everything to give us the truth. And now they're literally deleting the truth off the internet. We can't let this go on.
We have to justify what they've done to him. We have to believe in each other. We have to love each other. And we have to fight for what's right. Fight for the truth. God bless you, Assange. Your work will not be in vain.